the pure science <clears throat> behind the language that the global population was required to um, learn, whether we knew that, liked it or not, if you observe just a little bit on your own, you'll notice that everybody is having to learn the English language. And so, because what's behind it is what's living up in outer space. And um, the alpha, the, the symbol, the, the symbols that come with it, the alphabet that is a straight line that has two polarized sides to it. Um, one side is missing, by the way. Um, is an interfacing system that um, if both sides were uh, to maintain itself through, I think it's, it's um, basically awareness. I was supposed to say something right now. Oh, um, earth, the word earth has the word ear in it. And it's really important to, to realize what the nature of reality is. It's just a sound that can be heard. You see, now we're going to dial in on, on senses. And uh, I'm here to kind of correct the Buddhas out there that um, kind of, I understand why they, that is such a high teaching to say, you know what, abandon all your senses and 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 also eventually your body, you know, you're just going to stay still through this whole amazing whatever it is that most people, if you're still listening to these words, you're like, huh, I, I have life, and I have, um, I have all kinds of insurance policies making sure that this fucking thing stays still and safe for me. It's got to be safe and um, insured. Got to have security. Why? Because I'm going to die or something. Something. We, we A lot is going on out there on this premise that, that it's going to die. And I admit, um, um, of course, I'm wrapping some things up, but it's to me, it's a natural process. Aren't you fucking grateful for the process? I am. It's amazing. I can't believe it. Why? Well, it's just like a roller coaster ride. God built this amazing train that you're going to be on. And the more that you kind of surrender to it and say, oh, yeah, yeah no, I, I agree. I got bought a ticket. I'm on the seat now. Let's go, baby. The more it's like, um, an amazing ride. You're like, whoo! And now what? Well, you thought you were dying, but that was just your kundalini rising. Something is dying, and something has to die. You must die. That's the meaning of becoming reborn. You fucking Christians, you. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this fixed, by the way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get it fixed. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna paste it to the wall, and there's the crystallized virgin. Not even a human anymore. It's just a what? If it's human, it's definitely strung up and 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 bleeding. <laughs> Do you like the full moon in Pisces conjunct Saturn Neptune influence um, humor? It's conjuncting my my Jupiter. I I I'm like lit up like a Christmas tree. Let alone the moon. And so so I was trying to talk about my amazing bucket that that my astrology shows. A lot of scientists will have this. They have a bucket shape, and then there's a handle. There's something that that they say that's kind of swinging this bucket around, and sloshing the information. And but and I said it was Jupiter and the moon. It was a double handled bucket, but it's like you know what you know what it really is. If you look at what's the main, like the bottom of the bucket and where it starts to curve like this, there's five planets in Libra. And what's the um the the handle? My rising sign. What you're looking at now is a holographic field. Six Aries. So it's as good as saying that that my physical body and the aperture that I am. Um, is, is the handle that I use to express whatever is going to, 
um, start lighting up with Pluto. When, when Pluto goes into Aquarius, you see, I am the leader of the Librian generation. If you ask me, if not, I will just tell you separate from that whole thing that is quite illusory because there is no society aside from the individuals standing there, possibly next to each other, but you see, I am an individual Aquarius moon. The Aquarius is all about individuation. It's really strange. They're so weird because they get it. They're like, you know what? If you go in and meditate and connect to the electricity that is of the heart and you start feeding like a real scientist and you know the honest truth, then you can go out and say, yeah, and they'll be like, yeah, or or it's more like, you'll find out it's a, it's a turbulence, you know, so Aquarius says, I know by way of, okay, so if we break that down, babes, I, now, getting back to the ear, that if you, if you want to um, get out of the chaos of of the, the burning hell that is going going to go on and continue it just that's always kind of been there kind of you know you can you can find yourself in the thick of it you know my favorite gift that i found on on sm is that the picture of that little that woman the little girl who she's like she's just elated while everything is burning around her why she found something that was more real than um, than um, the illusion of just being um, afraid of, say, what, what would happen to her body. How about that? Back to fucking Neptune over there. Morphing around. Are you a piece of ice or are you a, an ocean or, or are you even there at all? Really? How many forms are there really, and do we see them all? What is it? Astrology, I mean, come on, just pointing at metaphors. I mean, says that, of course, it's God. You know, Neptune is really pointing at God. The medium through which this mysterious intelligence comes through and begins to, I would say, echo it's like mirroring, you know. I have a lot of poetry comes out of these freaky people called Pisces, Pisceans, and I happen to have the Jupiter going retrograde and the only planet retrograde in my chart. So when you say that, the only planet re going retrograde in my chart, that means that that people will will like see that thing going backwards. It's like, what is that? Pisces, Jupiter, and Pisces. Everybody's like, okay. They, they think that I'm completely stoned or high on LSD or or have just lost my mind and gone crazy. And, and uh, some of that is true, but not like all at the same time. I wouldn't suggest um, doing the wrong drugs. There is the right drugs at the right time and do it with a guide and do it for a reason. A lot of people aren't even drinking water for the reasons why they have to. And they really do need a guide with it, too. They do. They should. Like, by the way, don't drink the shit water. And look at what water is doing for us. Pray into it. See, I've been known to just take my time and pray into a glass of water before giving it to somebody. Don't do it much, but when I do do it, it's like, thank you, ionosphere. And the high, higher vibrational frequencies that respond to an honest effort to um, wake your ass up. <laughs> just kidding. No, really. But it's just water. It's water. It's uh, like water, my friend. Um, it's the um, it's our refreshment. And to to, to put it. Um, quite accurately. It's a spiritual refreshment if we're talking about the metaphor um, that they use, which points at Pisces, which is a, a metaphor. It's talking about something deeper than just water. Now, let's get back to God, the nature of God. Um, just a space. 
And it's not impossible to keep talking about it, you know. Reality is that space. See, a lot of people don't know what reality is. I'm not going to ever just go like, poke, poke it with a fork and serve it to you, babes. I'm going to say, a lot of people don't know what reality is. They think it's something. You know, they'll, they'll describe something. And a lot of people will say, and reality stinks. They even think this, that you can smell it. Nope. Find a master, ask them. Why can't you smell reality? It, it, it's kind of the same as, um, are you smelling your own nose? 